Hi, welcome back. So today I have a load of revision to do, so maybe I will film that. I'll give you some tips and things if I do decide to film me studying, but I'm not sure. I also need to go and vote today. I'm sure there's other stuff I need to do too. So what have I said so far? Revision, voting. Oh, I also need to sort out my beauty area where I sit down and do my makeup because my bedroom is getting redecorated so I need to move everything out and put it into another room. Maybe I'll film that too. Like a mini makeup storage collection type situation. I don't know. This video is going to be very random as it was last time. So yeah, let's go. So we have quite a lot of stuff to sort and organise. I need to put them into other storage containers because I'm getting rid of these drawers and the unit. So we're getting new drawers and everything like that. So everything has to be cleared. Okay, so let's start with some of these eyeshadow palettes. This one is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Redemption palette. So then I have these two from Sleek, these are the Eye Divine palettes, this is the Garden of Eden and Bad Girl palettes. Next we have this Lorac Pro palette, I've had a serious love affair with this palette, I mean look at it, how beaten up it is. This palette has been used and abused. This was the first eyeshadow palette I ever bought and look, it's starting to rip. Next we have this Anastasia Fair Contour Kit. I bought this because, you know, cream contouring was all a thing. I was really upset because they're really quite dry and you have to add a beauty oil to make it a bit more blendable. And I was really upset, but these I can highlight with these shades and obviously I can contour with all of these shades. I don't really touch this one. Probably my favourite palette and this is the Manny MUA Times Makeup Geek collaboration. All of these shades are stunning. This kind of greeny sparkly colour, what are you called? That's called Aphrodite and I love that shade. Favourite palette ever. The next palette we have is from Anastasia and this is the World Traveller palette. I'm pretty sure this was limited edition. So this is what the inside looks like. Hi, there's me. This is a Z palette. I forget the size of this Z palette. I think it's a small one. All of my eyeshadows were in this Z palette. These are all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Just recently transferred them into this bigger Z palette. Probably put the blush in here too, but I'd keep it in there just so it's separate. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They're really inexpensive, very pigmented. So next there's a couple of Morphe palettes. This one is the 350 palette. I'm sure I don't have to show the inside of that one. And then this one is the 35N palette. Very inexpensive and you get tons and tons of shadows. I haven't really dabbled too much into highlighters. So this is Champagne Pop and this is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Next we have some translucent face powder. This is just the normal original translucent one. Um, yeah, translucent as you can see. I really like this powder, it's great for baking. I really only use it when I have performances because nobody needs to bake on a regular basis. We have some foundations. These are my go-to everyday foundations, the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I am in the color, what color are you? I'm in the color number one. And then the last foundation is Max Studio Fix Fluid. I feel like everybody has this foundation. This is in the colour NC15 because I am very pale. But again, I only really use this when I'm performing because it is a very thick, heavy duty foundation. So moving on. These ones at the front are Gerard Cosmetic Lipsticks. In the middle row we have some Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and then in the back row is again the Manny MUA Ofra collaboration in the shades Airy, Charmed and Hypno I think. And then all of these here 
are lip liners, I have a random pen in there, and uh, also some colourful eyeliners, tweezers, and this little pot down here is just a sample of Benefit's High Beam. I'm going to be doing an unboxing soon. Be on the lookout. So now on to the more boring part of this vlog, but I'm here to give you some tips and tricks to help keep yourself organised and on top of all your revision. For me personally, I like to use these weekly planners and this one from Tiger is particularly good for organising my day-to-day -day life. So it gives me these really long columns to write down when I have dance and when I have work. And it's also nice to see what week you're on in the year. And this just does it throughout the whole year. This next one is more for college revision and revision classes and it is from Knock Knock and I think I found this at TK Maxx for about $2.99. This gives me lots of space to write down what I need to revise that day and it just sets me clear goals and so I don't get overwhelmed with the amount of work and revision that I have to do. So this isn't my room, this is the spare room that we have. Um, my bedroom's getting decorated so I have to sleep in here while painting and all that stuff goes on. Um, this mirror is going to go in my room and then I will give you a room tour. And I know you just saw that picture of baby Susie. I'm such a mug. I cooked dinner! So as I told you earlier, I had to go and vote today and the guy was like, oh, you get a big election in your first year. And I was like, yeah, I do. Theresa May, sort your life out, love. Sorry I didn't get any footage of me doing my revision. It would have just been really boring. It would have been me sitting at a table writing and doing my maps and stuff like that. I would have sped up the footage anyway, so I just didn't film it. New videos should be coming soon. I have a couple of packages that I want to unbox, so I will maybe make a video out of that. Uh, don't mind this lipstick, you'll find out in the unboxing, but I just wanted to wear it around just to see how it wore throughout the day. It's doing pretty well, uh, but as I said, you'll find more about that in the unboxing. Yes, I'm kneeling on the floor, that's why I'm like this, but yeah. Thanks for watching, bye! Also, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who watched my videos and subscribed. And I know they're subscribers, because now I have four subscribers. I have four subscribers, which is a really tiny amount, but it's crazy because there's people actually watching my videos, so... Ah, it makes me very happy!